Good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B, the Cash Real Comic Guy here, and how is everybody doing this Sunday? Uh, today I got a small haul for you guys and a trade I made with an Instagrammer, Comic Book Guy 2, and it's Sunday, so I'm going to shout out two things. And uh, we'll get to the shout outs at the end. First, I'll show you what I picked up. So from a little, um, um, like a state sale flea marketplace around here, I picked up four books which I thought were fun. And first one up is Marvel Fanfare 55 with Power Pack and the New Mutants. Now, as you guys know, with Marvel Fanfare, it's always a wraparound cover. So we got the front and the back. So fun little issue. These Marvel Fanfares had fun little um, stories in them. Uh, you can read it, enjoy it, set it aside, revisit it again later. And then this is a book I already have, but I absolutely love this uh, cover by Dave Cockrum and Joe Sinnott. And this is Marvel Premiere 41, Seeker 3000. Again, I got this for like a buck fifty in near mint shape. That's a steal all day for this book. Absolutely love it. Great uh, sci-fi cover and a fun little story inside, which I've read. I uh, really enjoyed it. Then we had um, The Defenders Issue 61. And uh, there was no way I was leaving behind this incredible cover with Spider-Man and uh, the cat on it. Just, uh, it's just too good. Just too much fun. You're looking at it. It's it's amazing. Got it really cheap. And again, another book. This is probably an 8.5. So a really nice shape. And then this one, the cover's a little dirty, but the inside's mint. But this company, Blackthorn Publishing, was printing, um, was putting out 3D books. And I have a couple of their cold books. And I'm going to pick up more. But they had, um, for under $3, G.I. Joe 3D. And I wasn't leaving that behind. The inside is minty, minty fresh. And I got a couple pairs of 3D glasses I bought off of eBay that are just the hard plastic ones, which work incredibly well with these 3d books so looking forward to reading this and having a little fun the 3d in these is usually fairly decent and then from my lcs i picked up the marvel graphic novel number two michael moorcock's elric the dreaming city in near mint condition by roy thomas and p craig craig russell Oof. And uh, couldn't leave that behind. Not one that's easy to find, especially in good shape, especially with all the black on it, on the cover. But one I've never read, so I can't wait to crack into this. And you know me, I love my Savage stuff. Um, so really good stuff there. And then this, Gary, was at my LCS. And this is going to lead into my first shout out. And that's Comic Book Guy 2 on Instagram. He does a lot of selling on his page, and he has great prices on books. Um, he does fast shipping, and he ships. Obviously, he knows how to ship books. Um, I bought a lot of books off him. I've traded him with books I have for books he has quite a bit. Never got a book in bad shape. Uh, super reputable. Uh, I, I certainly vouch for him. I think the guy's a great seller. He gets in a lot of stuff. Um, it's hard to tell. He posts it all, but he gets in a great mix of stuff. And right now, for all you Star Wars fans, he has some old um, VHSs and a Star Wars lot on sale right now. Um, not of the original trilogy, unfortunately, but still some good stuff for only 35 bucks. But I will have his link below. Uh, please go check him out. Follow him on IG. Let him know that Gary B., the casual comic guy, sent you. And we're going to open up um, this. And with this, I traded him um, a slab for what's in here. Plus, I think he threw in some extras. So we are going to look into this and have a little bit of fun. All right. And we are in. And as you can see, taped up and protected inside. And I hit my camera. Guys, I am just throwing things around like a fool. All right. So let's see. I already know what some of these are. 
So pretty excited about it. Things that fit my collection for sure. But let me know what you guys think. So first up, <clears throat> all right, Conan Exodus. This is a throw-in from him. And this was a great little issue, um, all done by the artist. There is no words. This is just a story of Conan. He's out in the wild trying to survive till he gets to his next destination. Really good book. Next up. All right, this one, I this is one I traded for, and this is uh, the new Miss Marvel, issue 22, Dave Cockrum cover, beautiful cover, incredible book. Um, I just recently got the first Death Bird from him, and um, so couldn't resist this. This is in near mint shape, and right into the PC. Everybody that watches me knows I'm a big Carol Danvers fan, and I love that Miss Marvel series, and the second one. Uh, he threw in a couple cosplay cover photos for me, it looks like. So here we go. Red Sonia, the superpowers. So those were free throw-ins. That was nice of him. And uh, these two were books that I also traded for with him. And I'm going to free these babies up. Okay. And, of course, it was the black and white variants. And uh, one has a uh, color on it. So first one right here, beautiful black and white Red Sonia cover. And then you get to the second one, which has the color splash on it. All right, so thank you, Rafi. Really always enjoy doing business with you, Rafi. Never, ever did not enjoy what I got from you. Thank you so much, sir. So all of you out there, please go check Rafi out on Instagram. I've um, shouted out quite a few people on Instagram from Yeah Man, I Got Comics, the Jimmy James Garage Sale, Ben Parker Comics, uh, Digger Jim, a lot of great people on IG. Rafi is definitely one of them. So please check him out. Give him a follow. Let him know I sent you. And I uh, want to get one more shout out done since it's Sunday and shout out a channel. And I'm going to shout out Mr. Chip Gettler. For I have picked up a lot of new followers lately, and I would really appreciate anyone that's not following Chip and subscribe to Chip on YouTube, if you would go give him a sub and leave him a comment that Gary B, the casual comic guy, sent you. Uh, if you leave a comment, the sub sticks and YouTube doesn't take it away, so it helps the algorithm a little. Chip is only eight subs away from 400, so he's near a milestone. Hopefully we can get him there today. Uh, Chip is not only eight away from a milestone, but he's also an incredible human being. He sent out AOKs all over the comic community. He's done um, work digitally for people. The banner on my station was a gift from Chip Gettler. And uh, he just surprised me and sent me a file one day, said, check this out. And of course, he's super humble. He goes, oh, if you don't like it, don't think about using it. How could you not like it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but Chip, has been doing a lot of Star Wars figures review lately and uh, reviews lately. And his figure reviews are great. He collects a lot of the Black Series and uh, he's a big Star Wars nerd. And Chip is just an absolute joy to watch when he's um, talking and reviewing these figures. He gives you a really nice breakdown of each one and it's just a good time. Plus, every uh, Saturday night he has banter. And uh, that's a lot of fun, just a big community hangout. Mm -hmm. But you could not ask for a nicer guy in the comic community. Um, I always say in the card community that Julie Farnham is a golden sold angel of that community. Well, in our comic community, that golden sold angel is Chip Gettler. And every single one of us that knows him appreciates him. So please, guys, if you're following me and you're not following Chip yet, go give him a sub and show this gentleman some support wonderful human being. But that's it for today, guys. Until next time, keep it casual.